friends so in this video we are going to learn a new concept of finding the analytic function whose real part is given in polar form so now for that we will assume one analytic function in polar form so let's say w that is function of z is analytic function which is given by u plus i v where u is the real part of analytic function and v is the imaginary part of analytic function in terms of r and theta that is in polar form now to get the analytic function f of z when real part that is only u is given but v is not given then how to get it so we are going to follow certain steps for it so in step number 1 we are going to find out the value of do u by do r and do u by do theta from the value of u next once we get do u by do r and do u by do theta we are going to use the cauchy riemann equation in polar form because f of z is said to be analytic function so here i'll say by cauchy riemann equation we will get do u by do r as 1 upon r do v by do theta so if i use this cauchy riemann equation then i have value of do u by do r so i'll put that value here i'll take this 1 by r or this r on other side it will multiply here and then we will get value of do v by do theta and then by the method of variable separation and by integrating both sides we will get the value of v and once we get the value of v we will put that value of v and u in this function and we will get the value of f of z it's so simple so to understand this concept i am going to take one numerical so here we have a numerical where u is given as minus r cube sin 3 theta and we have to find out the analytic function whose real part is u so here let's see how we are doing it so from u we will get the value of do u by do r and do u by do theta so therefore u is equal to minus r cube sin of 3 theta let's find out do u by do r for that we'll differentiate this u with respect to r partially so sin 3 theta as it is and the derivative of r cube is 3 r square minus sin as it is so we got the value as minus 3r square sin 3 theta similarly do u by do theta is partial differentiation of this u with respect to theta so minus r cube as it is sin 3 theta will become cos 3 theta into 3 next we got these two values so we are going to use the cauchy riemann equation since f of z is analytic so here i'll say therefore by cauchy riemann equation will get do u by do r is equal to 1 upon r do v by do theta where the value of do u by do r is this so here i'll write it down minus 3 r square sin 3 theta is equal to 1 by r do v by do theta so if i'll take this r on left hand side then we will get minus 3 r cube sin of 3 theta is equal to do v by do theta now to get the value of v i'll send this theta on other side so we will get this do v is equal to minus 3 r cube sin 3 theta d theta now we'll integrate both sides so we will get v equal to Minus three r cube constant as it is, and the integration of sine three theta is minus cos three theta upon three plus c. So by cancelling this three, we will get r cube cos of three theta plus c as the value of v. So we got the value of v. We have value of u which is given in the problem. 
Now we'll take these two values and we will put in f of z to get the analytic function. So here I'll say, therefore, f of z is equal to u plus iv. So which is equal to u is given as minus r cube sine three theta plus i. V is given as r cube cos of three theta and constant of integration. Now, what we'll do is instead of this minus term, we can write down this as i square because we can take i common from this first two terms if we produce i over here. So here I'll say it is i square r cube sine of three theta plus i r cube cos of three theta plus c. Now I will take i common from first two terms, r cube common, and in bracket we will get cos of three theta from here, and here we will get plus i sine of three theta plus c. Now we know that cos three theta plus i sine three theta is e raised to i three theta. Plus c. So here I'm using the exponential form of complex number that is e raised to i theta is cos theta plus i sine theta. So my angle was three theta, so I got e raised to i three theta. Now i as it is, I can take this cube common, and in bracket we will get r e raised to i theta three outside. Plus c, and guys, we know that this r e raised to i theta is nothing but the exponential form of complex number z. So we can say that it is equal to i. This bracket is z, that is z cube plus c, and here we got the value of analytic function f of z. Thank you.